Good morning and blessings to everybody as we gather for our service today. Uh, today we are uh, celebrating the Feast of the Purification of Mary and the Presentation of Our Lord, uh, the event that happened uh, 40 days after the birth of Jesus. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Purification of Mary and the Presentation of Our Lord. 32 days, 32 days after Jesus' circumcision and 70 weeks after the announcement of John's birth to Zechariah by the angel Gabriel, the Lord comes to his temple to fulfill the Torah. The days are indeed fulfilled with the presentation. Jesus' parents keep the Torah and fulfill it by bringing Jesus to his true home. Also, Jesus' parents offer the alternative sacrifice of two turtle doves or two pigeons. Leviticus allows this instead of a lamb, since not everyone could afford a lamb, showing the poverty and humility of Joseph and Mary. Yet no lamb was necessary because already here at 40 days old, Jesus is the lamb brought to his temple for sacrifice. Simeon's Nunc Dimittis is a beautiful example of the immediate response to this inauguration of God's consolation and redemption in the Christ child. Speaking to Mary, Simeon also prophesies about the destiny of the child. Psalm 75. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your name is near. We recount your wondrous deeds. At the time set that I appoint, I will judge with equity. When the earth totters and all its inhabitants, it is I who keep it steady, its pillars. I say to the boastful, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, or speak with haughty neck. For not from the east or from the west, not from the wilderness comes lifting up. But it is God who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup with foaming wine well mixed, and he pours out from it, and all the wicked of the earth shall drain it down to the dregs. But I will declare it forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, having waited for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him, and had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, and you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is opposed, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin, 
and then as a widow until she was 84. She did not depart from the temple, worshipping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong and filled with wisdom. And the favor of God was upon him. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. 
Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Almighty and ever-living God, as your only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple in the substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray you, O Lord, to keep our tongues from evil and our lips from speaking deceit, that as your holy angels continuously sing your praises in heaven, so may we at all times glorify you on earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, you are the great physician of soul and body. You chasten and you heal. Show mercy to your servants, spare their lives and restore their strength. Even as you gave your Son to bear our infirmities and sicknesses, deal compassionately with your servants and bless them with your healing power. We commit them to your gracious mercy and protection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> 